Hey guys, welcome. In this lecture, we're going to be uploading some banners from our Firebase. Then in the future, we're going to be able to upload these banners from our admin panel. Okay. For now, to do this, we have to go to the storage. Storage. Wait for this. And now we have to click on create folder. And you can see it's asking for the folder name. And I'm going to call this banners or maybe home banners. So I think this is okay. Okay, hard folder. Okay, and now you can see we have this banners folder over here. And we then have to click on this. And then click on upload file. Upload file. Waiting for this. Okay. And. Just gonna scroll down to choose a banner. Probably have some in download. Okay, download. Okay, and um, this. Okay, I'm gonna upload this first. Okay, you can see now as I upload them. I'm gonna click on this again to upload another. And scroll down. I'm gonna upload this. Okay, and click on this. You can see we have this banner uploaded. Okay, and also I think this is done. This should be done. And now what we can do is, over here you can see we have the Firestore database. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open this in a new tab. Open this in a new tab. And wait for this don't do not worry in the future you're fully going to understand this okay and now what we have to do is to create a collection called banners right and is asking for the banner id or is asking for the document id which you can see as the banner id so we can just auto generate this and the field is going to be called image and you can see it's asking for the value that is the url of that image so what we can then do is we can go back to this and click on file location and we can then click on this to copy and then paste this over here hopefully i'm just going to check if it's that okay i don't think that we copied the wrong okay not that over here okay you can see click to copy download the url hopefully you can see that and paste this over here no check if it is that okay it is okay click on save and now you can see we have this collection called banners and the id of that banner is this and you can see basically just have this image over here and we can do for another over here you can see we already have this collection called banners and currently we have just one banner so add on that banner we can just click on add the document don't do not worry in the future you're fully going to understand why we are doing all this but for the now just take note of all the process Okay, we just copied this and we didn't have to do for this. Let's scroll down again and click on this. Over here, you can see access token and click on this. And we can also generate this. And you can see it's asking for the field. The field is called image and it's asking for the value that is the URL. We can then click on that and click on save. You can see we have two banners. You can see we have all two documents. You can see this as you can refer to this as two documents or two files or two banners. Okay. So you can see we have two documents and the document have this field called image. And this is basically the value. What we can also do is we can copy this and open this in a new tab. And it's going to be that image. So basically just uploaded it in the 
in the storage in order to gain access to that URL. So that was why we have to upload it over here, right? So the reason we have to upload it in the storage was because we wanted to get the URL because whenever you upload an image within the storage, it will automatically generate the URL to that image or create a URL for it. So that was why we have to do that in order to get the URL. And you can see over here, what we basically just did was to create a collection called banners. And this collection called banners is where all our documents or all our banners are going to be stored. And you can see the banner has just one field called image. And this is basically the location to that image. You can see it over here. Seems cool. And remember, the reason we have to upload the banner to this storage was because we want to generate a URL. And the reason for this is because whenever you upload an image to uh, the storage, it will automatically generate a Firebase image URL, which we just recently copied, right? So that was why we have to do it over there. But in the future, we are going to be able to upload this image from our Hadmi panel. You can see how difficult it is. We have to first upload it within the storage in order to get access to the image URL. Then we then have to go to the uh, Cloudflare store and create a document and keep adding manually. You can see currently we are doing this manually, but in the future, we are easily going to be able to upload our banners from the admin panel okay and hopefully you understand all this Sorry.